parents be cutting people's family payments, cutting parental leave, and making uh, job seekers go up to a month without anything to live on at all. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has said... Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show. And what you're looking at is my laptop. This is an old, old, old Sony Vio. Probably, hmm, 15 years old. And it's running. And I, I apologize for the camera, camera movement because I can't get my tripod in here. But it's running HD SDR. And it's using the SDR dash console version 3 dongle. And right now it's tuned to Radio Australia on 9.580. Now, and this dongle does a, a, a great job, especially on. Um, HF. I have not used it that much on VHF and UHF. It's supposed to work on both or all. And um, it, it does an excellent job. I'm using my MFJ vertical antenna connected to it. And right now I have the bandwidth. You know, what you're seeing here as far as what's being displayed it's set to 3.2 megahertz. Now, I, for some reason, it should be able to go up to 10 megahertz, but for some reason, I'm not figured out how to set this program to that larger bandwidth. I don't really need it, but I would like to at least try it. And you can see with this full bandwidth, everything is kind of running over on top of each other. But I just wanted to show you this. It turns out that the solar flux index, it's now uh, 9 o'clock in the morning here in Florida, and the solar flux index is now up to 83, or down to 83 compared to 91 that it was showing it was earlier this morning. It may have already changed, and the website that I was using to get it from may not have been updated yet. Or maybe the one I'm using now is not updated. They're different. There are different uh, ways to get the solar flux index. So I thought while I was waiting for my previous show to upload, I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, I mean, it's brutal. It's taken an hour and it's still not uploaded. But anyway, um, so I thought while I was waiting, I would just fire up this laptop and fire up this SDR dash console version 3.0 dongle and see how it is working. I haven't been uh, using that for a while. Now, the one thing I've struggled with this setup, and it's it's just me, is um, I have three programs installed on this computer to um, control these SDRs. And I, I can get, with this particular SDR, I can get HD SDR program working and talking to it. I can get SDR Sharp working and talking to it. I cannot get SDR console to work with it. It thinks it's some other dongle and doesn't want to talk to it properly. So I don't know what that's about. So, um, so that's what I'm doing now. It, uh, it's getting kind of late in the morning so conditions won't be too good as you can see maybe over here here is the little widget that I run on the laptop that tells me the solar conditions and it's constantly being updated uh, the last update it says is October 16th at 12:41 GMT so that's pretty up to date and it's showing a solar flux of only 83 and it's got an A index of 11, which is not good. So, conditions are not ideal for listening to shortwave at this moment. They will change, of course. So anyway, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. I'm uh, trying to get my SDRs set up again and running. Because I want to try some 
other programs. There's a ton of programs to control these SDRs, and I've just scratched the surface. So I want to try some of the other ones. Many of them have been updated. Uh, SDR Sharp has been updated numerous times, and of course, SDR Sharp has a ton of add-ons, plug-ins, whatever you want to call them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.